Good morning. Welcome to Add Your Service on KLAX TV. Good morning. Welcome to today's edition of At Your Service. Today I'm joined by Dr. Joseph Rallo. He's the Commissioner of Higher Education. Of course, we are uh, right around the corner. Sure. Special session mm -hmm. looming, to, sure. looming to deal with uh, budget cuts. Mm -hmm. uh, folks are probably interested in how that might affect higher education. Well, uh, you know, last year we had three sessions. Uh, this year we're on track for two. And uh, in each of them, it's always sort of uh, mystical, quite frankly, how things uh, get, get passed and not passed. So right now we're looking at a $303 million deficit. And so one of the issues is how they're going to close it. Pretty big impact. On higher ed, it is because we're one of those places that's just not not covered, not uh, and so therefore they go to higher ed and parts of healthcare. Right. So, um, in in preparation for this uh, session, what what has been your kind of key areas of focus? Well, our key areas of focus. I mean, we're trying to maintain uh, you know the the notion from students' perspective that they still uh, have an investment in higher education means the rest of their life, but at the same time to try to get some certainty in their lives. You know, with the tops cuts. With continued funding cuts for the universities, a lot of times students, sadly, are looking at out-of-state schools because they're offering them a lot more stability. Right. And that's, that's an unfortunate mm -hmm. situation. As a parent of right. uh, someone finishing up sure. uh, a degree program, sure. i got to tell you, the last semester was quite a, right. quite a sticker shock. Oh, I, I agree. I agree. But the thing I always point out is that, you know, still are, we have great schools, and, and it still is a pretty modest tuition cost, even though it has gone up dramatically compared to many other states. So, you know, one of the positions you take is that higher education is an investment mm -hmm. uh, for the state right. and not necessarily a cost to the state. Let's uh, elaborate on that a little bit. Well, exactly. Bit. In other words, I mean, we have a lot of jobs in the state, a lot of well-paying jobs, and the first thing employers are looking at is there a trained and educated workforce. And so what we're saying is it's an investment in the state to allow the, the state to attract the type of businesses that we want. At the same time, it's a personal investment for that young man or young woman or the returning adult. So it really is an investment across the board. And uh, in my looking at some of your notes uh, before we started, uh, you indicate there's some emphasis on partnerships mm -hmm. between high school and college. Sure. That's one of the big, uh, the big things that we're looking at, to maximize the use of that senior year. About 40% of the students in high school right now take less than a full course load. And so they're out working, which is fine. But what we're trying to work with the Department of Ed is to maximize, like many other states, and, and, and allow them to take up to 30 college credits that senior year so they would walk out with 30 credits that would shorten their time to degree for either one year at a community college or three years for four years. How does the public need to be getting involved in this situation? Well, I think if the public believe, and I think most people that I've met do believe, that higher education is important to the community and to the individual, they need to contact their legislators, tell them that their university should be funded. You know, every citizen has a vote, and every legislator listens to their constituents. That would That's be my suggestion. So, so make sure you contact those folks and let them know how you feel about the topic of higher education. That wraps up today's segment of At Your Service.